Hey everyone, Girlmies Pixels here and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Pets and Generations. So I know it's been a few weeks since we have visited this lovely, lovely family, uh, but I am so ready to get back playing them and to finally just have Evelyn have her baby and, well I guess their baby, it's not just her baby, <laughs> um, and for Rylan to get to know his family a bit more, catch back up with them uh, and all that good stuff. Like honestly, the last part was a really, really good part and so I'm excited to continue it on. Anyways, first off, their house kind of looks like a gingerbread, don't you think? With the with the little lights and the little frosty, well not frosting, but the snow and the brown <laughs> and the crazy upstairs that we have going on. Yeah, their house is still pretty pathetic looking, but I don't know. Rylan's at work right now. Hopefully that'll be okay. Hopefully he can bring back some money. Tomorrow is snowflake day. What? Why is he missing work? Ryland, homie, I thought you were at the work. <gasps> what is he doing? He's like, oh, this looks like so much fun. He's like, I just want to go ice skating, not really go to work. He's in kind of a crappy mood, as you can see. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Well, and he's very tired, buddy. I'm sorry, but you got to go make us some money. You're missing out on money right now. <gasps> Ooh, Mateo found some metal. Yes, buddy. Okay, so he made it to work. Let's have him do just business as usual. Nice and chill. Uh, we'll check in with Mateo real quick. As you can see, everyone's kind of in mm, moods, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mateo is going to be an elder in six days. <gasps> do not break my heart like that. We gotta get Mateo a lady friend. Oh my gosh, Mateo. He's so precious. Uh, so he has been hunting a bit and found some kind of crappy stuff, but has also found some pretty decent stuff as well. Um, toss that into there. Oh my gosh, Pookie's gonna get taken freaking away. Plutonium? <gasps> Ooh, <gasps> it's already worth a thousand simoleons, but if we get it smelted, mm, yes, though. I'm gonna actually give it to Evelyn so she could put that in. Uh, the mailbox and he also found one out of three fragments of stone hydrant and I'm not exactly sure what it builds but I, I, I don't know maybe it's worth some money we shall see Pookie's not getting enough attention I hear babies up here falling apart <laughs> okay Evelyn girl time to wake up poor Evelyn is stir crazy very 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 pregnant her cat isn't getting enough attention her dog's not getting enough attention it's kind of a mess right now, you guys. It kind of is, but I'm loving it. I love it. I love this family. <laughs> um, okay, so she has a dirty diaper, Arden does. We need to come change her diaper and just make her feel better, in a better mood, toss her in the air, and then probably feed her. Is that what she needs next? Yeah, yep, I think so. Okay. Oh, she's like, oh, the, yeah, the TV is broken. <laughs> actually some of you guys were saying to sell the tv because it is broken and they do not use it at the moment and i kind of like that idea i kind of do just because oh yes though that works right guys right <laughs> it gives a bit more open space in the house oh there's like this lamp that's awkward uh we'll just i guess put it right here their house very tragic very just tragic uh, but I do see them being that they are going to live more of a bit of a farm life with all the animals they have and everything I'm kind of thinking that we might have a limited amount of technology within the house I really like the idea of that of them not you know having a bunch of computers and a lot of tvs stuff like that just they want their kids to live a little bit more of like um a traditional very traditional lifestyle so I think that's where we're going to kind of go towards with that. But as you can see, she's very pregnant. Oh, ooh, my computer, though. Hopefully, Ryland, poor buddy. I feel so bad for him. I really do. But I don't know. At least he'll have a day off tomorrow. <laughs> Probably not, though, because I think Evelyn, she should be due today with her baby babies. I don't know what they're having. We shall see. Uh, but yeah, she should be having a baby today in this part. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, in the last part, we did do, as you can see, an, upsta an upstairs. We built it. And then we also have some renovations down here as well. It's not the best, but it works. <laughs> it works for sure. I don't know. I just, I think what Evelyn needs to do, I really want her to grow closer to Ryland's family as well. I mean, I want Ryland too, but for her too as well. 
And uh, a lot of you guys wanted to see his family tree. So here's his family tree. Uh, he has his mom, Delia, and his dad, Rory, and his brother, Riley. Um, and he has, I think, a few other siblings, brothers and sisters. Uh, but for right now, Riley is the youngest of all of his siblings and is still living with his parents. So there's a little family tree. It's really cute, don't you think? Uh, I really, really want them to just grow closer to them. And to have the help of the grandparents, I feel like would be amazing. Why is he leaving work again? <gasps> Ryland, buddy, should we just have him like skip work? Because he's really telling me that he just does not want to be here. Oh, poor buddy. Okay. Oh, he's exhausted. Let's get a picture of this. Poor guy. I feel so bad for him. I really do. He's just exhausted from everything that's going on in his life. His wife is pregnant. He's not being able to provide enough money. I don't know if we can call out from work, possibly. Take unpaid time off. Let's have him do that. He's going to actually probably after tomorrow. Because tomorrow is Snowflake Day. I think we'll put him on a bit of like paternity leave. Uh, but I think he's going to head home. He's just going to go home. He left work because he's not feeling well. And he's exhausted. He just needs to sleep and feel better. Okay, so Evelyn, <laughs> I feel like she's just standing here like, holy crap, what is my life? I am exhausted. My child is crazy. Like, <laughs> I like very strongly relate to Evelyn at this moment. <laughs> it's hard and their life is so much more difficult than mine, like for reals. Um, she is hungry. I don't know if her other daughter is up, um, Nora, but um, let's eat organic waffles. Oh wait, no. I don't want her to eat anything like strawberry, or not strawberry, no pancakes, no waffles, because I don't know what fruits are in them. She's going to have some <laughs> birthday cake, because why the heck not, girl? Treat yourself. You deserve it. Uh, Nora, yeah, she is up, so she's actually in a decent mood, so we'll give her, we'll allow Evelyn to eat first and then take care of her. And like I said, Ryland's just going to come home. He's exhausted. He's in a horrible mood, and he's going to head on to bed. He's just going to be like, I'm sorry, like, I'm too tired, too tired to be at work. I don't feel well. I just need to rest. Like, just give me a few hours. Give me some time to sleep, <laughs> and I'll be back and better than ever. Uh, and look at oh, look at Arden. She's in such a good mood. She's such a cutie. Uh, and when do the toddlers age up? In four days. Okay, so they have a few days, and the kittens, Ben and Jerry, are going to be aging up in one day, which is really exciting. Uh, and so I'm excited to see who they're going to look like, and then you guys will get to vote when they age up. Who is staying and who is going? Uh, maybe we'll give one of them to Ryland's family. That would actually be kind of exciting. I actually really like that idea. Um, but I'm excited to find out who you guys want to keep around. We'll see. We'll see that in the next part. Uh, but yeah, so she's eating some birthday cake. <laughs> Girl, get that cake. Uh, she's going to come over here and let out uh, Arden. And we'll go up here and take care of Nora. Oh, I honestly am so ready for them to just age up at this point. I just... <laughs> They're exhausting, guys. These little toddlers, they're a lot of energy. And it'll be nice that they'll be able to go off to school uh, during the day, kind of give Evelyn a little bit of a break and have her work um, on can, taking care of the other babies or baby or whatever the heck we have next. I'm really interested to see if we have another set of multiples. I really hope not. <laughs> I really hope not, but we'll see. We'll just roll with whatever happens. Nora is going to come eat in the high chair. She's kind of hungry. Actually, you know what we could do? We could actually potty train her. I think, yeah, she's not potty trained yet. So let's come potty train Nora. And then we'll put her in the high chair to eat. It's like <laughs> 1 p.m. And she's just now eating breakfast. So fun. <laughs> and oh my gosh, look at Ryland is already doing so much better. He's getting a little bit of sleep. And he's feeling a little bit better. Poor guy. I feel so bad for him. I really do. But hopefully he'll be in a better mood to help take out, or not take out, oh my gosh, take care of the kids, <laughs> not take them out. Um, she needs to go to the bathroom. Is that his phone? <gasps> I wonder if it's work. I probably should have him wake up. I feel bad waking him up, but he probably should answer it. I don't know if it's important or not. We shall find out. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's okay. Hopefully, you know, nothing's wrong. He's not getting fired or anything like that. We'll see. Oh. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. Poor guy. I really do. Are you kidding me? It wasn't even anything important. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look at that. He's thinking about school. He's thinking about all his students that he just like 
left. <laughs> I mean, obviously he probably got like another teacher to come in or whatever, but he's just like, I can't handle today. Okay, Nora, get your butt in the high chair so we can feed you. Actually, you know what, at this point, screw that. She's just gonna, oh well, okay. I was like, we, we'll just feed her on the floor. Honestly, like at this point, like, is it worth putting in the high chair? Probably not, probably not. Um, but I will have her come use this and take a quick shower. Aw, Mateo gained the playful trait. That's cute. He stinks horribly, but at least he's getting a little bit of social. And Raylan, I'm gonna let him get a little bit more into the green with his energy so he can just feel a little bit more rested, feel more awake. Especially if his wife is gonna have a baby today, which I really hope she does. I feel like she should be. Um, and also we have that metal that we need to, or this plutonium that we need to put into the mailbox and get it smelted. That'll be really exciting. Did the toilet really just break? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why? Oh my gosh, this toilet is always breaking. So frustrating. So, so frustrating. Okay. Aww. Poor Nora is upset. I don't know why. She's in a pretty good mood. Let's have her come over here and play with the xylophone. What just broke? Did the shower just break by Evelyn just go, like going in the shower? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I swear. Everything is against me in this LP. I swear on it. I'm not crazy, you guys. I promise. This house is just... It is the most interesting household I think I've ever played. Oh, great. Arden, Arden actually has been in a pretty good mood all day. She does need to be potty trained a bit, so maybe we'll have Rylan do that. He hasn't really gone to be here with the kids, you know, and I feel kind of bad. Like, I feel like he wants to be here more to be a dad, you know? He's always at work or, I don't know, tired and exhausted by the time he comes home, so I feel bad for him. I don't know. Maybe they'll... Maybe there'll be a career change in the future. Okay, so Evelyn got that shipped off. So I think it should be here by the next part. And it looked like it was worth a decent amount of money. So, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. We do need to go fill uh, Iggy's food. And we don't need to clean it's hers and him's cage, whatever their cage. I don't know. I don't know what Iggy is. It's just a lizard. <laughs> um, but like I said, I think Nora needs to be potty trained. Um, or no, not Nora, Arden. So we'll come over here and potty train Arden and just let, you know, Rylan get to do some of that fun stuff. And maybe we should invite over, actually I'm gonna cancel that real quick. Let's invite over his family. Let's see if they'll be able to make it over. Invite household over. I think that'd be really cute to have his family come over. I mean, their house isn't, you know, the best for entertaining at the moment, but it'll do, it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, let's, oh, I guess, is Delian at home? I'm not sure. I don't know. He's going to call, though. And I'll actually just... I know, I suck. I'm just going to have uh, Evelyn do it and just potty train Arden. And... Oh, she's, like, getting all excited. I don't know why. Sorry, now's not a good time for us. Well, okay. Appreciate it. That's okay. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> um, let's try again. Maybe he just needs to get their relationship back up a bit. Um, let's just chat with her, with his mom at least. I don't feel kind of bad for him. <laughs> He's like, hey, mom, dad, you want to come over? And they're like, sorry, it's not a good time for us. Like, okay then. Okay, so the baby is coming. Should we go to the hospital? Probably. Yeah, no. Should we just have them stay here? Because they'll have to pay for a babysitter. And I feel like I don't want to pay for a babysitter. So they're going to have the baby here. Good luck, girl. Have fun with that. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll just speed this up. I feel kind of bad for her. I kind of do. She's like watching her daughters and they're just like, oh my gosh, mom, like what's going on? <laughs> uh, good for Pookie. He got the playful trait. Oh, poor Evelyn. Yeah. I just don't want them to have to pay for a babysitter. <laughs> Is that really crappy? That's kind of crappy, right? It's okay. She'll be fine. She can do it. <laughs> we'll just fast forward a bit. And actually, I'm going to have Raylan just feed Arden on the floor. And Nora's actually in a good mood, too. So at least the girls are in good moods. Um, and we're just waiting for Evelyn to pop out her baby. Any day now. Any time. Any year now. Whatever. It's fine. Oh. <gasps> Yay! She's finally having the baby. Or babies. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. <gasps> oh, another baby girl. <laughs> 
oh my gosh, I'm so worried this house is going to turn into girls, which is funny because I feel like my Sims never have girls, like in my current household and stuff. Okay, Evelyn's pregnancy it went well, and she and the baby made it through smoothly. The baby has been born with a good trait, which is actually really good, and we get to pick her second trait. Okay, so I decided on the name Isabel, and you guys honestly leave me like the most amazing recommendations ever so <laughs> you guys always just have the best names so one of you guys recommended Isabel and I really like it so we're gonna go with that okay and I'm just gonna roll she's good and a couch potato sounds good I'm just so scared there's gonna be another I'm just so nervous is it one I was really hoping for a boy is this our only child oh my gosh <laughs> it's another girl guys <laughs> This house is going to be full of girls. Are we going to have triplets? Oh my gosh. Okay. Baby girl. She's been born with the artistic trait. Oh, that's exciting. And we need another name. Let me go find one. So I decided on the name Ella. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like it's a name that they, they would choose. So Ella, thank you guys so much for your recommendations. Here we go. We get to choose the second trait. I'm going to roll it. She's an artistic loner fun <laughs> she sounds like a lot of fun in a big family okay they had twins are you kidding me right now they literally had twin baby girls again we have two sets of twins and they're both girls i was really hoping for a boy there you guys <laughs> oh my goodness i seriously cannot believe it i really can't <laughs> oh my gosh this family seriously just keeps surprising me more and more and they're literally having a house full of girls and she just needs one more child for her lifetime wish. We already have four children, you guys, with 195 simoleons. I don't even know if we can afford cribs for these babies. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we're gonna, we're gonna have to pause on like babies at the moment. I don't think they'll be getting pregnant anytime soon. Oh, she's gonna go upstairs. Oh girl, girl. I don't even know where we're gonna put two cribs. Okay, and I know a lot of you guys have actually been suggesting that Evelyn does something on the side while she's pregnant, being that she can't work her babysitter career or, or her profession. So um, I was thinking of maybe getting her into painting. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, okay, so here's Isabel. That's who she carried upstairs. Let me check her out, actually. We have Isabel, who's a couch potato and good. She likes geek rock, fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches, and the color aqua and she's a Capricorn. And Ella is a Sagittarius, so we're gonna have to fix that uh, so that they can match. She's a loner and artistic, likes the color orange, cookies, and Egyptian music. Um, and Arden, like I said, she was insane and evil. And we have Nora, who's athletic and friendly. So we have a very interesting mixture of girls going on in this house. I don't know what to say, you guys. I really don't, like this is, such a freaking plot twist <laughs> i feel like my game is just like laughing at me and they're in horrible moods they are born and they're like my life sucks already like this like please just like feed me oh she's actually sleeping okay well is she sleeping on the floor are you sleeping are you no okay let's go give her a bottle who is this again ella um, let's come over here. I really like the names. You guys honestly gave me such beautiful names, so thank you. I was really excited to use boy names, but um, <laughs> that didn't happen, so. <laughs> it's fun, guys. It's real fun. Um, yeah, we probably should figure out this crib situation real quick. <gasps> um, yeah. Yeah, no, they can't afford any cribs. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. Is it, is it time guys? Do we use the inheritance? Do we use their inheritance reward points for that 30,000 simoleons so they can afford living in their house? I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to decide by next part. I, I'm going to. For now though, we're gonna just put the newborns in the crib and <laughs> Um, that means that our other toddlers are going to have to go in shifts. Does that, can that work? Is that a thing? Can we do that? <laughs> this is crazy, you guys. This is crazy. What kind of life are these people living? 
This is intense. This is too much for me. I think I'm going to get Evelyn into painting. I think that's gonna be kind of like a side hobby that could bring us in some extra money. Um, and I'm really thinking about getting the inheritance and doing a little bit of like an upgrade or something either within the house here or having them move to a slightly bigger home. Um, they're not ready for their like their farm homestead yet that the super lovely the plum dot built me. Um, I just feel like they're not financially there yet and I don't want to fully cheat it, you know, and it's a very expensive home by the way. You guys, it's a very expensive. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I'm going to send Rylan to bed. He's exhausted. So is his poor, poor wife. I don't know. I feel like life is just like catching up to them and like biting them in the butt. Like they are in over the heads with just everything. Seriously, everything. So um, Ellen's going to come eat. <laughs> She's exhausted after delivering twins again. It'll be interesting if the girls look similar to the first set of twins, Nora and Arden. That'll be very interesting. Also, look how adorable these girls are. Like, they're just taking care of themselves. Like, just plain. They're so adorable. They really are. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm like, literally, like, I'm shook. I don't even, I don't even know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give a thumbs up. And also, if you're not already subscribed and you would like to be, make sure to click that button down below. Also, if you want to get notifications every time I upload a video just like this, make sure to hit that bell as well. Anyways, thank you guys again, and I will see you all next time.